guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you a super simple recipe for cauliflower crusts. You can use them for pizzas or load it up with your favorite toppings. Now, I already cleaned my cauliflower, so I'm just gonna place the florets inside the food processor. I simply turn it on and let it run for a while because I just wanna chop it up really finely, finer than rice. Now you do wanna start out with raw cauliflower because otherwise, if you use cooked cauliflower, you'll just have cauliflower puree and that just won't work to make these crusts. Now I'm just gonna transfer this out of the food processor into a microwave safe bowl and then microwave it for about three minutes. We're gonna stir and then for about a minute or two. We do this to steam or cook the cauliflower after it's been chopped. Now that it's cooked, you'll wanna cool it down to room temperature and then you wanna wring out the excess moisture by wrapping it in a cheesecloth or a clean kitchen towel. Once that's done, just put it back in the bowl and then we add the eggs and the seasoning and we whisk everything to combine. Now the cauliflower crusts are gonna take on the flavor of any seasoning that you use and below this video, I'm gonna leave the measurements for you in the description box as well as some suggestions. Next, we want to preheat our oven and line a baking sheet with parchment paper. I'm going to scoop out approximately about half a cup of this mixture and with my hands press down to create a circle shaped base. I'm going to repeat this process and form the rest of my crusts. The recipe below is going to make eight of them so you can bake some today and save the uncooked mixture in the fridge for up to four days. It does not, however, freeze well. Let's bake these for about 10 minutes remove them from the oven and carefully lift and flip each cauliflower crust and bake them for seven more minutes on the other side, maybe a little longer if your crusts are thick, but you want them to get nice and golden. By the way, if you find simple videos like this one helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to make more of them on my channel. Once they're ready, you just take them out of the oven and at this point, you can use them as the base for a pizza crust or as you can see, they're perfectly pliable. So you can also use them any way you'd want to use a pita, for example. If you enjoy cauliflower recipes, make sure to check out this next video. See you guys next time.